Hey everyone, I'm Weston, the product manager for Session Replay, and I'm here with Carmen, our product marketer. So Carmen and I used to work together really closely on the growth team, where we ran experiments that increased signups, activations, and improved overall usability. But we kept encountering a challenge. Charts often didn't tell us the why behind the data. It was actually really frustrating. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> and it created a huge disconnect for us. So this is kind of where the idea to build Session Replay Everywhere was born. So y'all and we could see exactly what our users were doing. So let's jump into this demo. I'm going to use this AmpliMoney product as an example. I'll start with a really simple but powerful upgrade where we now have Session Replays on the Amplitude homepage. Every morning, we as a team would check key metrics on our homepage before we had our daily stand-ups. Now, instead of just seeing numbers, we can actually click into a session replay immediately without having to open another tab or leave Amplitude. As you can see, I can move from this replay to the next, to the next, to see my most recent user's experiences. We made sure this experience feels snappy. So I can jump into a full player mode and keep going through as many replays as I want. But obviously, we would go a step deeper than that. So let's say that we're analyzing a sign-up funnel here for AmpliMoney. We're starting with start sign-up and looking at how often people complete the sign-up flow. One of the awesome things about Session Replay Everywhere is that now we have exactly the product experience in the event that triggered the event. So you know exactly what people were clicking on. Honestly, this is one of my favorite parts because yeah. I was always struggling with data taxonomy and asking engineers for help. Yeah. So what's the first thing you notice about this chart? Well, that drop off looks kind of ugly. Yeah, not so good. So it's about what, I think 32%, 33%. And this is where session replay changes the game. Instead of me having to go into session replays and find the right one to watch to understand why users are dropping off, I can have Weston click in right there to show me both why users converted or why users dropped off. And yeah. we can immediately see that replay. One click away in the chart, you're able to click into exactly what happened in that session. So here you can see I'm watching session replays that happened for the users who dropped out of sign up. And I'm immediately getting a sense of exactly what happened in that session, if not signing up, because we need to get this 33% up. I can spend hours going through these, but I don't have that time. <laughs> I want to be able to make decisions more quickly. And so we're introducing AI summaries. We have right here a great summary of exactly what happened in the session key highlights, sentiment analysis to give you a sense of if this was a neutral, a positive, or a negative session all around. And the best of all of these, my favorite, actionable recommendations for next steps that you can take to improve the product. So for me, I'm getting one AI generated summary here that makes taking decisions all that much faster. After quickly reviewing our AI summary, we actually decided to offer a new customer a bonus incentive based off that recommendation. We built the experiment and it's still really early days. So we don't have much data yet, but that's fine because we need to make sure the experience actually looks right for our users. So here in any of my metrics, I just have to hover and I can immediately click on watch session replays. And then we can review, is this the treatment that we expected to launch? And better yet, you can immediately get a sense of how this experiment is actually impacting your end users. We don't have to wait days for data. We can get together within minutes of launching an experiment and start to see exactly how people are reacting to what we launched. There's nothing worse than launching an experiment and a week later realizing it's not functioning properly at all. Yeah, and on the flip side, what if this is a hit? We could pull it out <laughs> right away. True. So replays aren't the only way for us to understand how users are engaging with our experiment. Another feature that we're super excited to share with everyone are heat maps. So we recently launched this new landing page with the sign-up bonus, and we want to look at where users are clicking. With the new heat map feature, I can instantly visualize click patterns across the whole page. This is something else that I can imagine us just checking in, in the morning, too. Yes, and especially when I'm seeing people clicking on odd spots that I would not expect to see them click, I really mm -hmm. want to be able to understand what is going on there. And yeah. the best part about our heat maps, of course, is that, again, session replays just a couple clicks away, so right I can there easily see why someone's clicking in the middle of the page. Yeah. This ultimately means there's no more guessing about why your users are behaving a certain way. And I really like the fact that I can move from a macro view of heat maps to a micro view of individual session replays, again, with just a few clicks. 
Now let's talk about the last thing we want to share with you here today, which is about closing the feedback loop, which is something we're always trying to do on the growth team or even on any product manager or even marketers are doing. That feedback your users give you is invaluable. We recently launched Amplitude Guides and Surveys and we actually made sure session replay was built in. Why? Again, user feedback is only half the story because there's always what users say and then there's what users do. With our new Guides and Surveys product, let's say I just launched a survey to get feedback on our Ample Money website. We're going to have some users tell us it's amazing and some say it's awful, but naturally we're going to want to ask why. So with session replay embedded directly into survey responses, I can click on any of these survey responses and immediately see the sessions where they answered the survey. So which one do you want to click into here? That one right there is looking problematic. That's a frowny face if I've ever seen one. Right. So this is a great signal. We can see the users immediately who were most frustrated with our product and start diagnosing what happened in their sessions. With one click of a button, I can watch the session replay where they ultimately gave us a really poor piece of feedback. And it sounds like we have some work to do. And again, there's a summary there too. So if you are having to go through, unfortunately, a lot of negative feedback, you got summaries to help you out. Yep. And right here, we have a negative sentiment in our AI summary. So it's pretty clear from the actions that we have to investigate what's happening and improve some of these navigation elements. It's that easy. It really is. Learn more at Amplitude.com.